Hi, this is Gabi with the Nomadic Family. Um, we are at the Lake House in Cameron Highlands, Malaysia, and today we have with us Param. Hello, Hello Param. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Param works here at the hostel, and I wanted to learn a little bit about his life, what makes this area special, what makes the Lake House special. Oh, and I see a nomadic kid walk by. <laughs> <laughs> Param, um, are you from Malaysia? I'm from Malaysia. Oh. Actually, I'm local. I'm from Cameron Highlands. You're from Cameron Highlands. Cameron Highlands yes. And how big is Cameron Highlands? Is it like a little town or is it a whole uh, area? Actually, Cameron Highlands, they have mostly six towns. It's uh, actually a big district. Ah, six towns. Six towns, yes. And is, is it the highest, is this right, it's the highest area in West Malaysia? Uh, is that yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Is it a lot of people live here? Is it more um, country like? Mostly like uh, Malay and Chinese, there's more, more okay. people live here. They more are uh, like farmers. Oh, farmers. farmers. Yes. And what kind of things do they grow in Cameron uh, They grow like flowers, vegetables, and uh, strawberries. Strawberries. Yes. That's <laughs> more important as, as well tea. Okay, tea as that's well right. Yes. So, bow plantation has. Bow plantation. Is here. Yes. Um, roses. Roses. Um, bees. Bees. And uh, like uh, butterfly farm. That is. Right. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Like and, and another thing that well, that very much attracted me to Cameron Highlands is the weather is cooler. Yes, cooler. Than the rest of Malaysia. Yes, yes. Yeah. True. Because, you know, when you go to Southeast Asia, you'll find that you sweat a lot. Yes, true. yes. <laughs> And here, not so much. Not so much, yes. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. nicer. Um, tell me, as a child, did mm -hmm. you grow up in a village? Did you grow up in town? What uh, was life like as a child? Mostly my lifestyle as a child, when I go to the primary school, I start at the village. In because the village. my father used farmer. Your so father's a farmer. Uh, and farm. are you of Indian descent? Indian, yes. Both your parents? Yes. Ah, and you were born in Malaysia? Born in Malaysia, Cameron Island. Okay. Uh, but uh, my father is farmer. Okay. So we used to, last time when I primary school, they stay in a, a village. In a village. So I used to travel every day. My father ride me bought a bike uh, to send to the bus station. A, a bike or motorbike? Bike. Uh, Bike. Okay. Uh, okay. Those days. Okay. <laughs> so now we moved to see uh, like town, the town area. Okay. And yeah. village life for a kid is that is that a good life? Yeah, good life. Yeah. yeah. For a lot of freedom, a lot freedom, of nature. Freedom, yes, nature, uh, more nature, basically. Right. That's one of the things that I always talk about, that today we put our kids in front of screens, we put them on computers, we put them yes. so sterile, and that I believe real childhood is getting dirty, being barefoot, being in nature, falling down, yes, true. you know, playing with mud, mud doing, yes. yeah, and you had that childhood. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's so nice. Yeah. And now, do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. How many? Uh, I had a one uh, younger brother and one younger sister. Ah, I'm older. You're the oldest. Yes. <laughs> is that, is that um, hard in, in your, is your culture at home more Malay or more Indian? I was, it's Indian. And in Indian, is there are there different expectations for the firstborn child? Is it harder than the others? Um, maybe no. Maybe the youngest is get more expectation. Really? Yeah. Oh, the opposite. Indian, the opposite. In my yes. culture, my husband was the oldest. Ooh, because <laughs> the our mentality, the Israelis say you you discipline the oldest, you discipline all the others. Oh. So they make the oldest the strictest. Yes. And then they think the others will follow. Yes, others follow, but yeah. uh, others what I do. Let's see what I do for the old peoples. So my brother sister follow. They follow. Yeah. Wow. And mm -hmm. how did you end up here at, at the lake house? Actually, basically after my secondary school, I plan to study. I like hotel line. So okay. I go for hotel line. And study. you have excellent English. Where is your English from? Uh, actually, I used to study for hotel line school. Ah, okay. For okay. three years. Wow. Then after that, I got opportunity to come to lake house, join as a... Uh, Guest service assistant. And how many years ago? Uh, this most probably six years ago. Six years ago. Six years. So you've been here a long time. Six years. <laughs> <laughs> so almost uh, when I join here, my age will be 22. Now I'm 28. Wow. Yeah. So from the age 20 to 20. So your entire young adult manhood has been here. Yes. Wow. And are you married? Do you have kids? Uh, not yet. Going to marriage this year, December. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're all coming to the wedding. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> coming, coming. Come, come, come. So come. in December? December 15th. Oh, December wedding. 15th. Okay, remember that if I forget. December 15th, we have to send Param an email. Yes, come to Cameron Island. Yeah. Is your wife from Cameron Islands? Uh, she's from Epo. Epo. Yeah. Okay, which is about an hour and a half away? An hour, yes. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah. How wonderful. What's your wife's name? Uh, his name is it's Indian Vani. It's a short name. Vani. What's the yeah. long one? 
Carla Ivani. Carla Ivani. How yeah, pretty. That's a big name. <laughs> wow. And your name, Param, Param. is there a longer name also? Paramasivam. Paramasivam. Masivam. Masivam. <laughs> that's a big name. Indian name is, they have a like, short name like this, very easy to pronounce. And it has to fit on the name tag. Yes. So <laughs> big name is very difficult to pronounce. Okay. Okay. And how is it here? Like what's special about the lake house? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you've obviously been here for six years. Mm -hmm. What makes this place special? Okay. Basically, the most special is like you can see like modern hotels like a lot but this right. one like a uh, very difficult english concept mm -hmm. so basically like european enter our hotel they said wow this look like our home wow so it's like wow. home then we have all the uh, english antique things you can see somewhat around here yes yes and as we've well, been showing them all yeah, of this fireplace stuff. and uh, english concept as uh, in fact, you can see like housekeeping, like uniform, like English. So cute. Yeah. You mm -hmm. would die. They have this black outfit, this cute little apron, the little <laughs> yes. white, the little hat. Yes. Maybe we can show them one. <laughs> oh, can yeah. we interview the girls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that'd be so no cute. Problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, like, like concept is like location surrounding with uh, nature. Yes. And yes. Uh, that's the most important. And the basically important things is quiet. Yeah, if let's say in Tanarata or Brinjang, there is a lot of noisy. Right, right. Yeah, that's right. the more important things. And we get all the expectation of the guests as well. Oh, all the inquiries. beyond yeah. the expectations. I asked for scotch tape, they give me like six oh. rolls. You know, <laughs> even if we lose the little inside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, what, one thing I love about it, first of all, I feel like I'm in an English chateau. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in a cottage on rolling hills in the middle of like a fairy tale. Yes. It feels like a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. It really but, does. Yes. And then also I love there's so many little sitting areas. Yes. There's little everywhere there's little couches there's a, and yeah. chairs, little end tables. Like I think there's probably 20 little places to sit. More than 20. Really? Yeah, really. Wow. Wow. And every room I've been peeking in the rooms when housekeeping does it. Every room it looks like a little cottage. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and you get fresh roses. We got two bouquets of fresh roses, mm -hmm. and every day you get two or three plates of fresh, Plate of fresh fruit. fruit and yeah. some cookies. cookies as well. <laughs> so nice. Um, wow. So let's say someone were to come to Cameron Highlands. As someone from this area, what would you say are the five things that they mm -hmm. have to see in Cameron five Highlands? Five things they most they have to the see. The first one is tea. Tea. <laughs> Because yeah. uh, other places in Malaysia, they won't see the tea plantation with green. Right. So only at Cameron Island. Okay. So that's Wonderful. the first. Tea. The and by the way, we learned on the, on the tour yesterday with Eco Cameron, mm -hmm. we learned about first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth yes. grade. We learned about the process. So yes, interesting. Yes, yes. There's the main thing. Uh, you can They can see easily the tea ground. And the second thing, they need to enter the factory. Then oh. only they... Yes. guests know about the processing yes. of the tea plantation. Yes, and I want to say sometimes factories kind of bore me. They they made it very clear, very easy. It's labeled. You read a little bit of the yes. instructions, and then inside there's a movie and there's more. It's very very nice. Yes. Very nicely made. Very nice. Yes. And even this also surprises. We were starving, which isn't surprising because we're always hungry. But they have a little. Um, Tea area? Tea area, yes. Tea, the, instead of cafeteria, they call it tea area. Tea area. Tea area. Yes, yes. And it's very reasonably priced. Like very nice uh, cakes. Cakes and um, a snack, a lot of. Yeah, yeah, what are they called? Like little custard. Custard, yeah. Yes, little Something. pies and even sandwiches. We got a huge sandwich for six, seven ringgit. Mm. Very reasonable prices. Yes. Yeah, because yes. sometimes those places they stick you a big bill. No. Oh. It was a good price. Okay, yes. so tea is number tea one. Tea is number one. Then, uh, of course, strawberry. The strawberries. <laughs> strawberry. Yes. And ah. uh, they need to, because now you can see like strawberry farm, they have a sell plug service. Mm. So maybe the guests need to sell plug. Wow. That is, uh, they plug themselves. Yeah. Then only they can feel oh, the beautiful. strawberry. Oh, yes. wonderful. Okay, so yeah. tea and strawberry, strawberry for sure. Then others maybe rose center. Roses. You've been to uh, Rose Center? You know, we were going to go to the Rose and we picked the bee instead. Oh. <laughs> we, we didn't know what to pick and we said, let's do the bees. Yeah. Um, then Rose Center, maybe roses. others, maybe you need to go like a vegetable farm. Vegetable but the vegetable farm. farm is all private land. Okay. So it's very difficult. Okay. Maybe uh, what we do, we have some suppliers. Maybe if we ask permission, the ah. guests can view like uh, how they grow tomato. Wow. Tomato. Wow. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is, for future, we're going to grow like uh, tomato and chili or like one one row 
in our water. Here? Yes. Oh, wow. So uh, basically, like the guests know what is this plant. So we put like name tag here, there's tomato. Wonderful. So then they, they know, oh, tomato is like this. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, we buy everything in the grocery store and you assume that it just fell out of the sky. Yes. <laughs> and uh, corn as well, corn plant. Oh, uh, it's wonderful. Coming so and it's so good here. I must say the corn tastes amazing. The cherry tomatoes, delicious. Yes. There's something about the fruits and vegetables grown in this region. So good. Yes. So good. I want to add one more thing to the list. Um, the lake house has a jungle trek at 10 and at yes. 2 with Raja. Raja, yes. Excellent tour guide. You get a sweat. It's a great workout. It's one hour. You actually go into the jungle, and I remembered because you said label. Yes. They've labeled different plants. Yes. So they teach you about the monkey cup and the angel's trumpet, and they teach you about different ferns and wonderful, wonderful educational, yes. good for families. It's good exercise as well. Good exercise. Quite challenging as well. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Remember December fifteenth. That's our big day. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully you all come to Cameron Island. <laughs> okay, December 15th, you're coming to Param's wedding. Everybody. All right. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Param. Thank you. Thank you very much.